Hey YouTube, it's Diesel Dan back again. Um, been away for a little bit. Wasn't really doing anything interesting. But got one today. Um, this came in. A little history on this truck. It's a day cab. We bought used. Um, the company doesn't really do that. But with the shortage and we won't see our new trucks until the end of 2023. Um, they bought this as a backup. Um, I believe it used to be an old tanker truck because the fifth wheel was all welded in place, stuff like that. Um, but uh, I just put a radiator in it. Uh, it's been leaking oil real bad since I got it. Um, so what we come up with is the oil core here, which is this whole big mammer jammer here. It's leaking oil pretty bad back here. And at the bottom here, uh, the oil filter housing is leaking also. So all this is coming off. Um, I'm hoping the core is not cracked. Possibly, maybe. Not 100% sure yet. Um, you can still see some of the oil back there in the corner. I tried to clean it up with brake clean. Um, turbo's off. EJR core's off. The plumbing over here is off. Um, this is a 2017 CXU MP8 engine. All my other trucks are MP7s. So, this one is slightly different, and I want to show you a couple things that I did run into. That you might want to keep an eye on uh, this has much more plumbing for the coolant than the sevens like as you can see this coolant pipe here that is a mother humper to get to if you have all the piping in the way so I am changing that rubber hose um, for the turbo the return line is different it actually goes into the block right here and it bolts up to the bottom of the turbo. Uh, it's kind of tricky. You got to take the bolts out and actually leave them there until you remove the turbo. And then you can take this off. The bolts will not come out because you'll hit the top of the EGR core. So that was a little different. Uh, the coolant line is in the middle. That bolts from underneath. That fitting won't come out either until you remove the turbo. Then that just pops out. There's no... Uh, clip or bolt or anything that holds it in it's really just when it's bolted to the turbo it's in there stays there so yeah we got a lot going on here I'm gonna remove the filter housing I'm gonna make another video on the solenoids the cooling and the oil thermostat I'll go in a little more detail on that hopefully the, the little bolts don't break if they do we'll have to deal with it then um, Today's project is to finish tearing this apart and start ordering parts. Uh, the manifold's got to come off. And as most guys know, if you've ever done an EGR valve, these bolts will break off into the manifold. And they're almost impossible to drill out. If one goes, I try to drill it. If it's more than one, I just order a manifold. Um, even the oil lines that go to this are kind of tricky to get to. Sometimes I just chop them and order new ones. It's just much easier and time consuming. So, like I said, I'm going to have to do some parts because it's a big job and I have to, a couple other things i got to take care of today, which I know, but I have most of my parts over here. Um, this is that big water pipe, the lower radiator hose pipe mounts here. This is the back of the water pump, and this is that rubber hose I was telling you about. Yeah, once that's in there... That would be a real pain to get to if that started leaking. So I am going to change a few of those things out while I'm in there. Um, the MP8s have the Delta P mounted on this pipe here on the side instead of the intake side. So there is a couple little different things on this engine as opposed to the MP7. Um, I take the compressor wheels off the turbo mainly in, in order to get to this nut here in the back. I can get a ratchet on it much easier for me I know some guys aren't a big fan of that but it is what it is I think I'll be changing that turbo anyway oh, got a broken bolt in it looks like some debris went through the compression wheel so if I get approved for that I'll go ahead and do it but yeah I'm gonna uh, keep picking away at this today I'm gonna do this video and hopefully two maybe three parts um, I wish I could do the whole thing, but I know I have a few other things I got to do today. 
and I'll be jumping back and forth. So that's where we're at today and uh, thanks guys there's a lot of subs been uh, signing up lately I've seen um, channel starting to grow. Uh, I did have a comment on my DPF filter video someone wants me to actually make a video of me breaking them down just a heads up I have an Anthem and a CXU coming up for service so I will do those videos I also have a Hino here that may need a DPF service so I will be probably taking that apart I'll make a video of that because I get a lot of interest in the Hino videos but I only have the one here so I can only video what I do so I'm just trying to do real world stuff help guys out and any information out there that's helpful to anybody I'm just trying to do the same thing when I need information I go to YouTube and I'm just trying to share the information here but we're gonna try to get this cooler off today and see where we're at which looks like a lot of fun I think doesn't look light it looks to be cast iron and I'm hoping it's not cracked alright guys Next video will be coming as soon as I can get it up. Thanks.